Thank God it's a Tuesday. Welcome sa August 24 edition ng The Stock Market Today. Sana po ay healthy tayo, nasa mabuting kalagayan, wala pong sakit. Ito po ang inyong lingkod, Benji Chidoro. Ako po isang retired bank officer started to invest in the Philippine stock market in 2007 and I do this report daily. Nasinimulan ko po noong August of last year. I also report the latest news on your favorite and most active stocks. At kung gusto niyo po ng content, inimitahan ko po kayo mag-subscribe sa aking channel. At kung meron po kayong stocks na gusto ipa-review, paki-comment lang po sa comment box at aking ipaprioritize. Ang financial news po natin ay tungkol sa Century Pacific Foods kasama po ang ating financial headlines at ang resulta ng trading sa ating PSE ngayong araw ikalawamput-apat ng Agosto, dalawamput-isa dito lamang sa The Stock Market Today. Okay po, so let's start with our financial news first before we go to Century. Ano po? At ang ating financial news ay from uh, BDO Securities and uh, let me fix that first okay so nakikita niyo po ba so ang ating economic news infrastructure budget hiked by 15 percent to 1.18 trillion in 2022 so napakalaki na po ng budget natin no most of this i think would be to service loans so marami po dito i would suppose is to service loans no Pero for approval pa po ito, dinideliberate pa po ito. Philippine debt to hit 13 trillion next year. Naku, ang laki nito, no? And then, ito po yung ating financial news. CNPF sells plant-based products to UAE. And then we have DMCI power allots 3.5 billion for Masbate Palawan plants. Ito po yung news natin kahapon, so I will not go into that anymore and then ERC targets to complete probe on outages by September so these are our financial news so let's now go to the details na po. so tingnan na po natin ang detalye nito mula sa business world ang headline po ay Century Pacific Foods Unmeet Now in UAE Century Pacific Food Inc or CNPF said its plant-based meat alternative brand and meat arrived in the United Arab Emirates in June 2021. The listed food company said in a stock exchange disclosure on Monday that the brand recorded significant traction since its arrival. Gregory H. Banson, CNPF Executive Vice President and Chief Operating Officer, said the UAE is promising mar is a promising market for the company due to its diverse and progressive population and strong Filipino community. According to CNPF, the entire line of unmeat is available in the UAE. The line consists of meat-free burger patties, Hungarian sausages, nuggets, and minced meat or minced meat. Meanwhile, Banson said CNPF is also looking at other international markets with focus on high-impact regions where the company has strong distribution network. For the first half in 2021, CNPF posted a 21% jump in its net income to $2.7 billion as a result of strong export sales, resilient local demand, and favorable tax rates. Consolidated revenues for the period also improved 8% to $27 billion. So may I share now with you the commentary of uh, BDO Numura on this news item so let me put that up okay so cnpf the expansion of unmeet brand in the global market should bode well for cnpf given the emerging consumer preferences for alternative meat we have a buy rating for cnpf with a target price of 29 pesos so let's now go to so well tingnan mo na natin yung upside niya no so continue na natin ang cnpf here it's uh yesterday it was 28 24.80 target price is 29 so that's a almost 17 percent upside so that's our news for the day and now let's go to the happenings in the philippine stock exchange 
and the Philippine Stock Exchange Index. So, the PSEI gained 87.15 points. That's 1.32% up to end at 6678.82. So, it appears to be, right now, it's a, it appears to be moving sideways with RSI slightly up at 53. On the market summary naman, ay tignan po natin ang nangyari sa market activity today. The All Share Index gained 0.83%. All the financial sectors are up. And this was led by the holding companies at 1.72%, followed by the industrials at 1.43%. And on the market status, we will be reviewing some of your requests. Mike Miguel requests LTG, no? So we will be prioritiz prioritizing LTG. And then we have our news, CNPF, BHI, PHA, ANI, now, GLOW, and uh, let's uh, take a look also at all HC. So we'll be reviewing these stocks. And so let's now go to LTG. Okay, so for LTG, naku bearish si LTG. 919 lang, ano? and it lost 2 centavos, and it has been bearish the past 3 days. Yung support level niya, nandito na po. Actually, support level po ito, no? Kung titignan po natin, yan po, no? Support level po, yung, yung area ng to, yung 9, 9 pesos to 9.20, no? Yan po yung support level ni LTG. At uh, bearish po si RSI at 32. In fact, it has been, the stock has been oversold for the past 2 or 3 days, no? Noong August 16, 17, and then dito noong July, no? Starting July 13 up to July or August 6, no? So, based dito sa technicals, it's about time na mag-turn around itong LTG. So, yan po yung... Um, ating technicals, ano? At makikita po natin yung formation ng candlestick ay napaka bearish po niya, ano? Kung magko-consolidate pa po yan further, we will see that this, uh, that our indicators may further flatten down, ano? Kung dito sa level na ito, sa 9 pesos, magko-continue siya mag-consolidate. Now, let's now take a look at uh, the fundamentals, no? Tingnan natin yung fundamentals ni, ni LTG. I think I have one here. So, uh, this is uh, the analysis of BDO Securities, August 12, 2021. No? And they reduced the target price of LTG from 16.50 to 13.10. Kasi dati 16.50 po siya. It's a downside. May downside po siya na 33%. Bakit niya ginawa yun? One is, it was lowered to 13.10 dahil meron siyang attributable net loss of 2.8 billion for the second quarter of 2021. Pero, buy pa rin siya based dito sa current price. No? So, merong upside the 33.7%. So, basically, that was the, the reason. No? The second one is that Tobacco remains resilient. Bank profits cushioned by chunky ROPA gains. ROPA means um, repossessed and other properties owned or acquired. Ito po yung sa banko kasi po when you extend loans, hinihingan nyo yan ng collateral ng banko. Ngayon kung ang kliyente hindi po makabayad, ang property po ay foreclose. And then you foreclose property, yan po yung nagiging asset ng banko at kailangan nilang ma mabenta yan. Okay? Ngayon, maganda naman yung mga ropa niya, yung quality ng uh, kanyang repossessed properties. Kaya, by recommendation pa rin si BDO Securities dito, no? Ngayon, tapos, Distilled Spirits, Beverage, and Property Report Mixed Results. And then, what else do we have here? I think that's basically, that's it, no? Kaya niya downgrade from 1650 to 1310. So that's for LTG, and I hope I have given you two sides of the coin 
One is the technicals. The other is the fundamentals. So next, let's uh, look at CNPF. Okay, so CNPF naman ay bullish. At uh, makikita natin dito na all our uh, indicators are under the candlestick. At uh, the nearest indicator, yung orange line, ay touching or piercing through. No? But it's still on an upward trend. And uh, yung, yung blue line forms our support. Ito yung 50-day exponential. And our black line is upwards. Ano? So makikita nyo dito na talagang ang trend niya ay upwards. So now, ang nearest resistance niya ay nandito sa area na ito, no? 25.50 to 25.70. While our support area, let's place it at the EMA 50 at 24.18. So nakikita natin kasi nagbabounce po dyan. And then, BHI. So sa BHI naman, ito yung moving sideways, ano? With support here at... Um, 9.05 centavos. Actually, it's 9.05 to 9.22. Yung support area po niya. And uh, nearest resistance, nandito po sa area nito, no? 11.18 centavos. Now, when I talk of support and resistance, hindi po yan absolute points. These are areas. Okay po? Then, after BHI, PHA. Okay, PHA naman, uy. Bearish pa rin siya, but it had a green candlestick here with support at this area. Nearest is here, no? Uh, dito po. So, 1, 105 to 110 po yung nearest support area ni Premier, no? PHA. And bearish pa rin po siya as our RSI is a bit low at 49, no? So, near the midpoint pero makikita nyo naman yung trend ay pababa no kas nag cross over kaka cross over pa lang po nung July nung long term over the medium term which is makes a definite bearish trend and then ani okay ang ani naman ay bearish din to no with our short term indicator piercing through the candlestick sideways but our long and medium term are above the candlestick. So, bearish po yung sentiment. Kung titingnan natin ang earnings, ay meron naman siyang income for the second quarter. But compared to the last quarter, it is lower by 70, almost 75%. Then after ANI, tingnan naman natin si NOW. Si NOW naman, bearish din. Ano? Maraming mga companies ang nag uh, going under uh, this pandemic ano so compared to the previous quarter it's still income but compared to the second quarter of 2021 i this is lower by 41% the income this quarter so 2 to 2 10 po yung support area then glow naman Wow, look at that. Si Glow. Talagang lumilipad si Glow. At makakita natin, breakout po siya dito with volume. There's a breakout here noong August 16. Another breakout noong August 21. Pero kung titingnan po natin ay pataas pa rin ano? ang kanyang movement. RSI is already oversold at 77. And this point here, 2,280, is the highest in 52 weeks. Highest point na po ito. Since the last highest level was May 2020. And this level is already resistance area. Ngayon, pagka nag-pierce po, po dyan, maaaring another higher high po ang marating ni Globe. Okay, then finally we have All HC. Yan po si All HC. And makikita po natin ay piercing through the candlestick yung 20-day exponential moving average. Pero yung blue line is touching the end of the candlestick, meaning ito yung nagpo-form po ng support ng all HC, which at this point is at 398 or 399 yung support area ni all HC. In the meantime, the level is here, 
mga bandang 450 to 460 po ang resistance area ni all HC. So, yan po no, ang at ang ating analysis sa all HC, but may I share with you the side po ni BDO um, Securities kung paano nila tinalaka yung all HC ano po? Uh, let me put that up. Pagdating naman kay BDO Nomura, iba naman yung kanyang style no, ng kanyang pagpe-present ng technicals. Let me put that up. Yan, okay. So yan po yung all HC. I'm sorry po no. Kasi kung minsan, pagka hindi ko po tinitignan yung, yung aking monitor, yung program monitor ko po, ay akala ko na switch ko na. Okay, that's all HC. Hanggang dito lang po yung nakikita ko. Yan. Kasi yan po yung aking mga indicators and that's how I analyze. Ano po? Ngayon po, yung all, H, yung all HC based on BDO, uh, ito naman po yung kanyang presentation. Ganito po siya. Natin, ha? Okay, so tingnan natin si All HC. Yan po. Ito yung text speak nila as of today. No? And ang ginamit niya, okay, while downside risk remain for the mainliners, ito yung mga index stocks. No? We take a look at a stock that has continued to exhibit strength despite market weakness. Past few days, there is a subsidiary of Ali whose business keeps on thriving despite the pandemic all HC. So may nagtanong sa akin siguro one or two weeks ago na if all HC is okay. So ko, it's, that's, that's a very good stock and pang long term talaga yan. Nung binili ko yan ng 2018, sometime 2018, nasa 3 pesos lang yata yun eh. Ngayon magkano na? Di ba? Nasa 4 something na siya. 450, 430 something, you know. After rallying 58% in May lows to July peak of 457, all HC corrected and moved within a bullish flag pattern. So, ang kanyang sinasabi dito ay meron siyang flag pattern. Bullish flag pattern. Last Friday, all HC broke out from the said formation and a follow-through was made yesterday. So, kung titignan po natin, yung formation ng all HC i-focus nga natin muna. Yan. So mas merong formation siya dito, lakayan pa natin. Yan. Okay, so yan yung uh, chart ni ni BDO no na ito yung breakout na sinasabi niya at nandito siya ngayon. So we'll read further after rallying 58% from May. Okay, the stock volume the past few days had been supportive of its uptrend and its MACD and RSI indicate further upside for the stock. If all HC breaks out of 457, could compel the stock price higher to 538 or target price. So yun yung target price niya based on Fibonacci extensions. So hindi, hindi ko alam kung paano niya nagagawa yung extension kasi dito sa uh, investagrams, ang Fibonacci niya is the highest point and the lowest point. Pero dito, in-extend po niya, no? I think there's a tool here na uh, hindi ko pa nagagamit na nagkakaroon ng extension na ganito. And the next extension point, ang sabi niya, is 5, 538, no? 538 is the next extension point. Accumulating the stop on breakout percent sa potential gain of 18%, just with the stop loss of 434. So, yun po yung kanyang uh, recommendation, no? Based on technicals. Current price is 457, target price is 538, stop loss is 434, potential upside is 18%, potential downside is 5%. Of course, mas malaki upside kasi sa risk on the downside. So, recommended is to buy. But of course, that's BDO Securities, di ba? So, may reputation naman sa BDO Securities. But it's up to you guys. If you believe that the stock will go up based on the technicals, Based on the fundamentals, sige, bili kayo. Pero walang sisihan, no? Kung it goes against you. Kasi mga recommendations lang naman to at mga projections na educated projections po ito. Nasa inyo po yan kung gusto niyo bumili uh, at maniwala dito. Nasa inyo din yan kung maniniwala po kayo sa akin pero wala pong sisihan in the end. Okay po? That's the technical analysis of uh, all HC per BDO Numura. 
Yan po ang ating report sa stock market. August 24, 2021 po si Benji Chidoro nagpapalala. An investment in knowledge pays the best interest. Maraming salamat sa inyong pagtangkilik. Hanggang sa muli, God bless and bye for now.